This segment we do is called If You Only Knew. Yeah. You answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. It's okay. Guilty pleasure. Bad movies. Yeah, how bad. Bad movies. The, <laughs> the Oscar. Be. The Oscar. Yeah. Oh, God, I, you've Steven just beat Boyd. me to it. Oh, what? You're gonna, because it's, you're gonna, I talked to Steve Marwin, and so he said, I like high-low. He said, I like things that are either brilliant, like yeah. The yeah. Leopard, or I like Stephen Boyd and the Oscar. The Oscar and Carpetbaggers. That's All right, secret talent. My secret talent is that I, I can I can dance. I'm a pretty good dancer. Most times when I'm on set and people see me doing a PK turn or something, they go, "Who oh, are you dance?" And so, uh, something we should all be paying more attention to right now. What I always get on people, I sound like a crazy person. <laughs> people should be should be drinking more water. Drinking more liquid. Look, I did it before I even said it. I know. That's. I'm always on my mother. I put signs everywhere up for my mom. You know, you can drown on Earth, though. I'm so neurotic about that. If you drink over 100 uh, ounces a day, you have to watch yourself because it saturates as your lung, and you can actually uh, d drown, suffer all the. Can you imagine drowning on Earth? How bad you'd feel. If we were in our 30s, we would not be worried about something like that. This is, <laughs> this is definitely an older person. I'm just, what is this spot? To, By the way, just, just to be on take a, a look at that. What is that? And have David Hasselhoff giving me mouth to mouth. It's a big nightmare for me. <laughs> a luxury you can't live without. Butter. Mm. Butter is. French or salted or unsalted? I get the fancy butter from Ireland. Mm -hmm. But butter oh, is yeah. one of the great, yeah. I can't uh, I can't disagree with you there. I, yeah. I throw butter on a, a mashed potato instead of gravy. Butter like and that. toast is, yeah. pretty, and is pretty much one of my. Yeah. Um, stranded on a desert island with three things, what do you, uh, what do you bring with you? Butter? Butter. Uh, <laughs> Water. I guess he, no. he two chickens so they can Mate. make love and have <laughs> eggs. So I got to, I only got one thing left. Two chickens. I guess I I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for di uh, uh, like Dickens, like a book oh, that okay. you could reread. So I'm gonna go with that. All right, so Dickens and chickens. <laughs> I, I see what you're saying. I think that's a, I, I think I ate there on yes. Pasadena. <laughs> weren't they, weren't they bought yes, I did see them. I open followed for, them. Open for more Amsterdam Heimie. one night. I think Jaime followed them. Um, strangest job you've ever had. True story. I, I blew up helium balloons for Doug Henning. <laughs> <laughs> and I was fired for that. What, you were sucking a little helium and taking it home with you? Or? Oh, we totally did that. Me and my roommate, Stephen Rogers, who's now a famous screenwriter, so he can prove that this is true. We we got this job. For, it wasn't magic. It was the show he did after magic. And our job was to come and it, it, it like, during the, we came in intermission, so then when people went in for the second act, we had to get all these balloons blown up with a helium machine and have them all ready to hand out as people left. Wow. Okay, cut to the Lucy episode. Blowing right. up like 200 balloons, not easy. And we, uh, we would inhale the helium. God, something you wish you were better at. <sighs> Dancing. Yeah, funniest fan encounter. I would have to say uh, there's a couple, but the overall big one was there's an actor named Mike Starr who was in Goodfellas, and we got cast in a movie, and we went to Chicago to do the movie, and they were so obsessed with Goodfellas that the first day of shooting, they said they put it on, they had a large screen TV on set, and they put the movie Just on running. to run it for us. <laughs> John Ford used to have a pianist. I, that seemed like a sweet idea to me, but running another film when you're trying. Mike Starr and I are like, are we shooting? Are we, are we here to watch Goodfellas? Like, what's happening? Well, in dovetailing with that, favorite film of all time? Favorite film, my fa personal favorite film is Limelight, mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin's Limelight, because yeah. it's everything I Heart love. Um, and favorite modern film? Favorite modern film, um, it would have to be The Great Beauty, the Italian film uh, that came out, Pablo say. Sorrento, just was an incredible uh, film. 
uh, Italian. It mm -hmm. was up for, for best foreign film a couple of years ago. He subsequently did another movie called Youth. Wow, but I time. thought it was profound and beautiful. And again, that was another movie. Where like nothing happened for two hours. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.